when there's no room for a door, slide it into the wall with a Johnson Hardware Pocket Door System. You can open up rooms, create more space, and provide privacy with an easy-to-install pocket door. This video shows you how to do it correctly and quickly so you can avoid any problems and enjoy the benefits right away. Step 1. Construct Rough Opening Header must be square and plumb with studs and level. Minimum height is door height plus four and a half inches. Width is two times the door width plus one inch. Measure for frame header end brackets. Set nail at door height plus three quarters of an inch from finished floor or one and a half inches from subfloor. Mark each rough stud and drive a flathead nail on center, leaving an eighth of an inch protruding. Frame header and brackets will rest on these nails. Step 3. Snap a chalk line. Snap a chalk line on the floor, even with the side jams. Step 4. Attach frame header to rough studs. Slip slots in frame header end plates over the nails in rough studs. Level header. Set nails and drive nails through the remaining holes in the end plates. If you have the 2 foot by 6 inch or universal frame and are using another size door, see Cutting Instructions Chapter on the main menu. Step 5. Attach Split Jams Note, if using 1 and 3 quarters inch door, use 1575 adapter kit. Slip fingers of floor plate into split jams as shown. but split jam against header nailer and nail into place. Nail other split jam midway in pocket opening. Plumb split jams between chalk line and nail to floor. On masonry, use industrial adhesive or Tapcon fasteners. Step 6. Apply desired wall material. Wall material is brought clear to the edge of the opening. Warning. Use nails no longer than necessary. Nails must not protrude into the pocket or door will be damaged. To provide a firm nailing surface, slip a 2 and 1 8 inch board between the split jams temporarily. Step 7. Seal all edges. Seal all edges and face of door panel with paint or sealing satin. Step 8. Fasten bumper. Fasten 1513 bumper on the back edge of door 40 inches from the bottom edge. Step 9. Mount door plates and mount door. A. Attach the door plate on top of door 2 inches from each edge with lock tab on same side. B. Insert hangers into track alternating wheel positions for even weight distribution. C. Mount door by locating door plate 1121 under adjusting bolt of 1120 hanger. 
lift door, and push bolt into the door plate. Repeat with other hanger door plate. Step 10. Install finished jams, split headers, and casing. Install finished jams. Note, minimum of 3 16th of an inch clearance between jam and door. Plumb door with jam. Slide door over, shim, and plumb finished flat jam with door. Insert finished split header between split jams and flat jam. Apply finished split header on lock lever side with number 6 by 1 and a quarter inch screws provided. Do not use jams with dados. Step 11. Fasten door guides. Fasten 1550 guides on finished split jams at door bottom so door is held in center of opening. Cutting instructions. Pocket door frame header. Pocket door frame header. 2 foot and 6 inch and 3 foot and 0 inch wide pocket door frames are marked for cutting to shorter standard door widths. 1. Remove adjustable end bracket. 2. At desired door size marking, cut wood header only. 3. Turn header over and cut track 1 and 3 8 inch shorter than header. Four, replace adjustable end bracket on new cut end of header. Five, turn header on side and cut header trim board only at proper mark. Remove cut off end and discard. Six, turn header and cut other side. Cutting instructions, special door sizes. Cutting header for other than standard door width, measure door width and multiply by two. Add one inch. One, remove adjustable end bracket. Measure from fixed bracket end of header board two times the door width. Add one inch and mark header. Two, add mark. Cut wood header only. Turn header over and cut track 1 and 3 8 inch shorter than header. 4. Replace adjustable end bracket on new cut end of header. 5. Measure header trim board from fixed bracket end. Door width 31 inches plus 7 eighths of an inch. Turn header on side and cut header trim board only at proper mark. Remove cut off end and discard. 5. Mark other trim board and repeat step 5. Use Johnson Hardware Accessories for the perfect finishing touch.
or other fine Johnson Hardware products, please visit www.johnsonhardware.com.